TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live as of right now, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen. Because, you know, just in case. Don't forget, man, we are on Patreon.com. We post five days per week, sometimes more than five times a week. Um, we also got um, Twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream. Username's at the bottom of the screen. This is Police Interceptors. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. He stood at the gate with a kitchen knife saying Option. I don't know why I didn't Dealers. Film the two back here. It's bank holiday weekend, but there's no jolly to Scarborough for Richard Jaffa Whiteley and Sergeant Chris Slaven. Could be, uh... Richard Jaffa Wifery. That sounds like a Starbucks drink. Potentially quite a lively one. Mystic Jaffa got it bang on. He's got a report of a uh, road traffic collision. You've blown 93. Three times over the legal drink drive limit. Through the it night, ends, the blue light on one emergency call after another. Extra sir, far one. I'm making his way over as well. And deal with anything or anyone they find along the way. How you doing? Hello, mate. Are you just oh. drunk, lad? Yeah, I'm drunk right away. You had a good night, haven't you? I ain't never seen nobody just chilling. He could be doing worse. He could be behind the wheel, but he's decided to walk and fall on the ground in the grass. No problems. It's been a busy night, but as day breaks, it's about to get a lot busier with Wait. the next shout over the radio. That Monday, I just going back into Wakefield. Wait, so they was just working an overnight shift and right when they about to get off, the police chase initiated? No, the stolen Mondeo <laughs> is back on the road as it's just been spotted nearby. Every available unit is racing to intercept. Let's follow them. Jaffa and Chris join the search. Hoping there's some truth in early bird catches the car thief. Rugby fan Jaffa is hoping to tackle the driver and send him straight to the sin bin. But it's another unit. See if I see Lisa over here. No, she probably like at the top. Top ranked officer. But it's another unit a mile ahead who gets eyes on the Iffy Mondeo at a petrol station. They creep up behind the suspect car and block it. 60 hello, I've got it. It's on the sunny road in BP. All units, BP going south of the road, please. But the car thief has got other ideas. He reverses into a petrol pump, then floors it. Gone in 60 seconds. Oh, how did he get out? You had, like, what, ha what just happened? He's got a pack of interceptors in his rear view mirror, with Jaffa and Chris right in the mix. Chris. That look like he want to go home. It's been a long night. With a few hundred horses on his tail. Out of Wakefield, just past an agriculture. The car thief jumps a red light and takes the pursuit out of town. Well, 
left, 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 onto uh, Heath Common. Requesting tea back at 30, I've got the units behind me. Sunny. But it seems his tango with a petrol pump has done for one of the tyres. He's got uh, a puncture near, near side wheel from a collision that occurred in the BP garage. Speed is 70 miles per hour. Even with three wheels on his wagon, he continues caning the Mondeo. Mondeo built tough. This will make a good commercial. Speed is currently 8 0. Traffic is light, safe to continue. Overtaking an ambulance at 70 miles an hour, With one he leaves tire. his tyre barreling down the carriageway. Yes, yes, uh, his tire is shredded, he's, uh, he's lost his radio side tire. So he on metal. Forcing other cars to dodge it. Oh, for hell. Still continuing speed is 8 0. Still continuing speed is 8 0. And back. The three wheelers weaving all over the shop. And takes desperate measures in a bid to shake off the interceptors. 6 0, it's a left left towards Normanton. Wrong side of the round. Should find a train track. Maybe he could like roll on there. Is that a myth or is that true? Like if you don't have no wheels or tires, you can roll your rim on the train tracks. I think that's myth. I'm pretty sure uh, that car show figured it out. If it was a myth or not. About on the right, right onto Wakefield Road. Why do I always forget the name of that car show? Top Gear. I have followed it was safe. Speed 60 miles per hour. At 5 a.m. the roads are quiet, but he's heading into a residential area. Speed 60 miles per hour. He's definitely gonna crash. And struggling on three wheels, he loses it. Wakefield, uh, it's a loss of control. Crash, 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 Wakefield Road. It's like bound to happen. It was suck to be this car to fight 5 a.m. Wake up, go to, get ready to go to work, and you really can't even see it. No, wait, wait, where's the driver's side? This side? Yeah, you are gonna see that thing. He's off on foot, but for how long? We don't need a recap. Just go to where he. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Now I didn't jump the gun. Here. Then lost control. But will he lose Wakey's finest interceptors? The new Move camera. Move it, sunshine. Give up. Stop resisting. Your yeah, arms, relax. Relax your arm! Relax your arm! After a face full of parva spray, too fast, too furious, is finally in cuffs. Relax your arm! To the back! What do you mean there's no need for all that? He was on a high speed chase, what do you mean? Let's roll him onto that side, onto his. His left hand side. Six zero one to ten. Just give him a search whilst he's down here. You are under arrest on suspicion of dangerous driving, failing to stop for police, and theft of a motor vehicle. Do you understand that? Yeah. What do you mean? We believe that Monday was stolen. Why did you even spray? Because you resisted. Resisting? How did I resist? There's four officers on you and you're still struggling with your arms. Right. What's your name, fella? Put your knees out. Mondeo man is not a happy chap and won't give up his name. Up we go. Come on, it's not designed to be pleasant stuff, is it? That's why it's wear off. The effects of Parva wear off after 15 to 30 minutes. That's not bad. Parva was only 15 to 30 minutes. Mace is like an hour, two hours. Divisional van. Just keep your eyes up in there, try to keep them open. He's also struggling to open his mouth. What's your first name? 
Just right. to let you know that I'm here. I'm filming for Channel 5 from Leeson Sectors. Oh, great. That loosened his tongue. Do they normally do? That's the first time I've seen the camera person even say a word. It seems they've collared an unlikely fan, but he's not such a fan of the Sarge's questions. We we'll confirmed this chap's name yet? He won't tell us. So what, what's your name, lad? Eh, <laughs> uh, Uncle Doring. Self. Whoa, here we go. There's one in my bag. Spitting at an emergency worker is an assault, which can carry a maximum penalty of a year behind bars. Spit I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the dumbest charges you can occur. Why would you, you, you gotta wanna go to jail to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna go to jail. <laughs> like, you, there's, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to jail, buddy, if you do that. Guards are lightweight mesh hoods which were rolled out to all of West Yorkshire's frontline officers in 2017 to protect against transmission of diseases through spitting. Right. Now he looks stupid. We've all got families to go home to and to go home with a risk of infection or disease because someone spat you, then they can wear a, they can wear a hood. No, no excuse for it, it's disgusting. I'd rather get punched than spat. Do you really think I'm bothered? Look what you've done. Look what you've done. He towed that up too. With the gobby driver finally under control. You can stay there, and then the wind can get around your chops, can't it? The Sarge assesses the damage. It took a highly skilled uh, technician to, <laughs> to get it looking anywhere like you. No, that's uh, an absolute write-off, unfortunately. Um, but given the speeds we were going at, never going to be anything else. In court, the judge said this was a chillingly appalling piece of driving. It turned out Mondeo man had 10 previous convictions for nicking cars. Yeah, you out of there, buddy. <laughs> With a rap sheet like that, and then you spit on the officer, they'll probably get you two to three. He pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, Years. aggravated vehicle taking, driving whilst disqualified and without insurance, as well as assaulting two emergency workers. Gobby was sent down for 20 months, banned from the roads for five. See, two to three, almost 20 months years and reality what he do 60 percent 10 months wait how much Down for 20 months banned from the roads for five years and 10 months in 2018 nearly 3,000 people died from the use of illicit drugs in england and wales anyone caught dealing drugs could face anything from hefty fine to life in prison. Drug dealing has an impact, a huge impact on uh, on society, on the people that use the drugs. Um, and we find that the sort of criminality that follows that around, you don't just get sort of drug use, you'll get theft that relates to it, a lot of serious crime is, is based around drugs and drug usage. So it's always good to, to get the dealers off the street. They are absolute detritus who, who prey on the weakness and vulnerability of others. West Yorkshire Police are fighting back with a specialist group of interceptors, the PIT team. Working on intel with a fleet of covert cars, they're hidden in plain sight. The secret weapon in the war on drug dealers. Cracking down on the sale of Class A's tonight is seasoned interceptor Steph Weischuk and his PIT team partner, Harry Jeffrey. Following in the footsteps of his dad and granddad, Harry joined the force three years ago. His proudest... Leave a comment if your name is Harry. I got it. I'm just going to ask you a question. Like, if you, seriously, your name is Harry and you're watching this video, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm just curious. Police moments is becoming part of the pit team. And six foot six Big H is more than up to the job. And the job tonight take down some drug dealers in the unmarked BMW 140R. There's been a sighting of that vehicle we're looking out for, the Golf. It's linked to drug dealing. It's quarter to midnight on a Saturday night. Uh, so possibly out dealing in uh, town centres, Class A drugs. Right, get some right pace on up here, mate. Steph unleashes the Beamer's 340 horses. There's been another sighting of this vehicle. Uh, so we're not far away. 
Uh, we should be on this any second. Then he kills the Blues. I don't like Harry's haircut. It's just something about it that just like, it never clicks with me. I don't like it. And enters stealth mode, just in time. Yes, passing, yes, us, yes. passing us. Howarth Road, Howarth Road, towards Bradford. We're just turning. Spinning round. Get to Toller Lane, mate, to Toller Lane. They tail the dealers from a distance and guide a second unit in for backup. It's just going past the petrol station. Going into the petrol going station. Going into the petrol station. We'll hold off, we'll hold off. The element of surprise is key to catching them with evidence. Best editor on a platform. I can tell I'm about to need. I might so edit it. So it lights post. out and wait. Do you see what's coming out? It's come straight out. Has it? It's come straight out. D down or up? On, oh, no, it's coming towards us. Ah, it is. It's gone through and it's turned around and come out. It's parking up in front of us. Flying under the radar in their covert car. But what? No, 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 no. Is this a new trapper? They still got their lights dead on. Their lights are on. I wouldn't do any, like, hypothetically speaking, I wouldn't. This is not the spot that I would have picked. Right here in front of a car with their headlights on? No way. Tweaking off that decision. Parking up in front of us. Flying under the radar in their covert car, in an extraordinary turn of events, the then literally he pulled off and then backed back up when he seen you come. Like, you gotta be not paying attention at all of your surroundings. Dealers have unknowingly stopped just meters away from the pit team. Harry clocks a man walking to the target car. The question is not if, when they strike. I have to get him there. You're gonna get and grip him. Timing is everything. The light's off. Yeah, light's off. Block it. Go in, pit team style. Stay where you are! Stay where you are! Pop the door! Stay where you are! Angela Fuel! Angela Fuel! Stay where you are now, both of you! Keep your hands where I can see them, both of you! Stop your hands! Do it now! Yeah, I'm really excellent. He's got to be the worst dealer in all time, in the history of dealing. In just 30 seconds, they collared three stunned suspects. Wait, who's 6'6? Six, six? Harry was 6'6 six, six or, or he's 6'6? Six, six? You roll the tin under section 23, it means it's a drugs act, okay? Yep, yeah, got them secure. You look to chuck me out. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Harry 6'6. Six, six. Eagle eyed Harry sees the front seat passenger throw something out of his car door. Something lands by the tree, and it's not a squirrel. There, mate, there, mate. Some, some rap, sir. It's 27 minutes. It's not looking good, breath. Past midnight, you're all under arrest. Suspicion what? with possession with intent to supply. Class A drug, okay. So what we've got, as I've approached the driver's door, the passenger has discarded this, which is uh, yeah, a clear plastic bag containing what looks to be uh, rocks of class A heroin. Uh, passenger got his, his fix for at least two, three days, didn't he? He must have just got his little benefits in his bank account. Crack cocaine. We'll get it forensically tested. Uh, but no, we'll just have a look, see if he's chucked out else out. Steph searches the backseat passenger who had just approached the car. Are you, are you a drug user yourself? Just doing it. Yeah. What sort of drugs do you use? Heroin. Well, Harry. Oh, that was the. Wait. Who was. This is a passenger too? Oh, they together, okay. He has a word with the driver. Mate, just while we're at here, yeah? You further under arrest possession of offensive weapon, okay? I oh, mind you under caution. Wheels, you under caution, mate. You don't keep it there. A road Wait, why can't you keep that there? It clearly has a socket attached to it, even doing some mechanical work. Side search turns up nothing more. And it's all down the nick for a game of 20 questions. But something else has come to light on a path nearby. There's a load more gear on pavement here in uh, Alt Raps has spilled all over all over the tarmac. I've just done a wider search uh, of the pavement area. Bro, how did that get there though? I'm denying that. 
If I was whoever is in that car, that's that's pretty far. I ain't seen nobody coming from over there, did you? From where the gentleman he from the rear have. seat was sighted first before he got in the car. And we've located what we can see on the pavement here, which is a load more small wraps of what we believe to be Class A drugs. So based upon that, we're going to get, gather all that as one exhibit, seize that, and then do a, a, another further search around the, the other area here. I don't think they're going to get booked for that one. In the gardens, see if there's anything else discarded as well. Unless a nearby oh. house has CCTV cameras, which Never could mind. solve the mystery of the wraps on the pavement. While Steph takes a look at that, there's a family reunion. <laughs> Harry's uncle Simon has arrived with drug sniffer dog Charlie. Another user's got it back. I've got driver, and then passenger was going, oh, oh, shuts all the class. His. So his uncle, dad, and everybody in the film just. Say out. But then we found the load outside that. Oh, I got it. The entrance. So I don't know if the lad that's got in the back has dropped a load. Charlie gets down and dirty in a nearby garden. Charlie. Charlie. First. Before Focus. taking a closer sniff at the car where there are items cops think could indicate dealing. But Charlie does not find any more drugs. However, Steph's now caught up on his favorite program. Then on the CCTV footage, you see uh, two packages being discarded from the vehicle. Uh, one lands at the base of the tree where we've located a quantity of class A. And then the other one, you see like a speckle of, uh, of white dots that appear on the screen. Uh, that's the small white wraps that we found at the end of uh, one of the property's garden. The rear seat passenger has it, immediately though, claimed yeah. that he's a user of drugs as opposed to a dealer of drugs. So I think we've caught them in the act of, of dealing from the vehicle to the user. The suspected Class A drugs were tested and proved to be crack cocaine ah. and heroin. Just over a week later, the driver and front seat passenger were arrested again, again. for dr drug dealing. The man Harry saw throwing drugs from the car has been convicted of possession with intent to supply Class A drugs and sent to prison for seven years. The driver was also... Oh my God. Seven years is... <laughs> that is insane. That's all right. I guess I. I mean, no, I don't like. That's a long time. I've seen people on this show do way worse, or in general, I've seen people do worse and get suspended sentences. Nothing. But this is. All right. So convicted of dealing Class A drugs and given a 32-month prison sentence. No legal action was taken against the man cops or getting into the car. It's a good job. Um, just what our unit set up to do, getting the drug deals off the streets, reacting to the intelligence that's coming from our communities, being able to action that quickly, and it's paid off. Good job, Harry. Every year in Great Britain, there are around 5,700 crashes involving a drink driver, leaving over 8,500 people killed or injured that's 23 a day it's a problem that doesn't seem to go away is drink driving i can't get my head around it because it's it's plain to see it took me a little a minute to register this 23 people a day that once you're under the influence of alcohol you 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 haven't got your wits about you and therefore you shouldn't be in charge of a a one and a half two ton killing machine and it, it does me it does me head in Drink driving, just stop. Now a car is a K I L L I N G machine. I guess he was just saying that for like for the shock value, but I, I, I don't know. That's a crazy way to. <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. Or maybe with the drunk driver behind it, it's now that. It's a hot bank holiday evening. As revelers pack up the partying, most will call a cab home, but some decide to get behind the wheel. Interceptor Gav Pearson is on a housing estate in Wakefield, investigating how this fine piece of German engineering oh, he's done well, hasn't he? ended up kaput. Yeah. 
There's Vip Axelok. Gav gets up to speed with a cop who was first on scene. He's been reversing. How did you do that? In and out of it, reversing to this. This chap's seen him do it and apparently he's absolutely steaming. Bro, tow up all the cars on the block. What did he what is he about to blow? He gotta blow like a 1.8. This is 1.8 behavior. After hitting parked cars and ripping off his own wheel and suspension, eyewitnesses say the allegedly drunk driver parked up, locked up, and fled the scene. Bystanders claim the driver was wearing shorts and a burgundy top. And there's been a sighting. Uh, on top, huh? On top, huh? With a red, red Adidas top on. Which top pass say on? Up there, top path, no net field. Yeah, I got a walk. Just, just stay out, just stay out of the way, lads. All right, mate. Martial artist Gav swapped us. Bro, seen the cameras and couldn't wait to get that wheelie off. Soldiers' uniform for a copper's blues 12 years ago, on a mission to put wrongans to rights. And priority tonight, whoever ditched that knackered beamer. Put his path lads down this way or up top. Well, up top, but if you go back and you're walking back there. Yeah. That's good for me, have a look. Cops split up to search for the suspect. Plenty of boots on the ground could flush him out. As you can see, it just turns out into fields and pitch black. I've got a feeling he's probably done one anyway. Because uh, if you see in our car, he knows he's going to be in trouble. We'll have a walk about and see if we can see anybody. Old buddy is still around, he know he drunk. It's gotta be fully 1.5. Quiet on the Wakefield front. Until they spot someone. Just get that side, get that side. Will it be the driver? Looks like it. Like cop, they've spot that side. You got him. Yeah. Get some braces on. Oh, yeah. Get some yeah. braces on. Get some braces on, Cocker. Yeah. He stumbled right into the interceptor's cuffs. What's your name, bud? He would have just stayed quiet. They would have never. Yeah, you know, it's right no. What? Hold on, you shouldn't have. No, no. No, at all. No, no, no. Just a case. My car keys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have. No. Yeah. Obviously, we've just got some concern about your cocker because it's the state of your car. No, no. State of your car? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Fellow interceptor Robbo has some leads. He's got some BMW keys on him, which I bet will uh, start the car that's been involved in it all. And he is uh, the named person on the insurance. Sure enough, the key fits the car. Nice motor ruin, isn't it? I'm surprised it came back, actually. I'm, I'm surprised as well, mate, to be honest. All right, guys. Let's let's give him a breathalyzer. I need to see this. Bro just casually hopping fences, talking about, so yeah, 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 there you go. What? I think he's... I think he just don't know what he's doing. While Gavin Robbo searched the battered Beamer, this half-cut Casanova blames his missus. What's said by his girlfriend at the time is she's, she's on my insurance. Okay. So she can drive my car. All right, mate. What I'm trying to say to you is, what are you trying to do to say... Well, we've got reasonable grounds well, to believe that you were driving that... Yeah. Bro blaming his girl? So he lost his car and his girlfriend after this this air. That's tough. Oh, no, but and listen. also I can smell intoxicants on your breath. Yeah, no, but listen. And you've had a drink tonight, haven't yeah, you? I, no, so no, I listen, think me, can that I, you've been driving that car all under the influence. Can I say something to you? Sorry. I'm not saying that I, I haven't had a drink tonight. All I'm saying is that I haven't drove my car. Oh, it's to say girlfriend's been driving. <laughs> if you thought now, my car is else. My car. That's an L boyfriend. L boyfriend. L partner. It's over. It's over for your relationship, and you might be going to jail, buddy. Is in charge with my name and my girlfriend. Those three little words, it wasn't me, are all this boyfriend's interested in. 
He might be passing the buck to his girlfriend, but the interceptors want to put him to the test. Right, so because I think you've been driving and you're under the influence of alcohol, I'm going to ask you for a specimen of breath by means of this handout device. So take a deep breath, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, thank you. That's perfect. The thing is, Right, you failed. So at this moment in time, you're under arrest for suspicion of driving whilst over the speed limit. He's blown 85, over twice the legal 85. limit. 85. What a lightweight. Respectably, like I've like I thought he blew like 150. Like he was moving like a 1.5 area, wasn't he? When did you arrest me? Did you arrest my girlfriend? Still pointing the finger at his missus, he might be in trouble next time he sees her, and. Right on cue. Hi, hello. How are we doing? The suspect's girlfriend arrives in a taxi, oh, and she has a different God. version of events. Have you been driving that BMW tonight? <laughs> no, I haven't. This is pure negativity. He actually got a girlfriend that he was blaming, and she pulled up. No, you haven't at all. OK, you're willing to give a statement to, in relation to that? No, I haven't driven that BMW at all tonight. Gav speaks to the woman's parents and a taxi firm, who both confirm she's not been driving. All of a sudden, okay. they hear a smash at the other end just, of the street. Get her, get her, just get her back. What now? Let's go. Move, move. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Whatever move, you Robert, are Robert, doing, Robert, you Robert, stop move, it. Move. The suspect has seen red and booted out the patrol car window. Pack it in. Move. And now he's facing the red dot of Gav's taser. Get out and get down on the floor. Right, no. Get down on the floor. Uh, get down, no, get down on the floor. What you said? Do just get down on the floor. What you said? Go on, I got I'm telling you, he's moving like he's 1.5. He's got it like, just like I, this is not 0.85 energy. This is I'm seven times over the lim legal limit energy right here. This is ridiculous. Lay down on the floor. Hands. Lay down. Hands up front. Well then, I don't know you. No, instead you're damaging our car. So I don't know you. I've had to help my knees. Go on. Go Six on. four. Have you got a van coming? Can you get it expediting? Let's put window through on the car. Get off. Wait. No. Just relax. Yes. Get off my wrist. Oh, wait a minute now. Knee to the back of the neck is a little bit crazy. He's not there. Get off. He's He's off. Right, calm down now. It's not as knackered as his Beamer, but the cop car is off the street for the foreseeable. While the culprit is very much on the street. Is that you there with the mother? Just... I can't... Listen, listen. He might get time for this. More time. Listen, listen. Listen. Gav tries to reason with him. Right. We've all got bald heads. Right, you are making this a hell of a lot. There's no reasoning with a bald person. I mean, wow. You can read, I'm a reasonable person. There's no reasoning with a drunk person. No. Worse for yourself. Because I've done nothing right. wrong. Right, if you've done not, listen, if you've done not wrong, then it'll come out and wash, won't it? It was gonna be simple, go through, have a breath test, and then that'll probably be it. Right, Instead, right. now you've made it worse by putting our car window through. Right. So you're under arrest on criminal damage now as well. So how about, let's not make it any worse. Tell what I've done wrong. Stop being a prat and Tell just calm down. Wrong. Tell what I've done wrong. The gravity of the situation isn't sinking in. It doesn't even matter at this point, buddy. You're going to jail. Just put that bracelet on there. Well, you've been enough, haven't you? Yeah. What's I yeah. doing this for? Because for what? For that, yeah, but listen, listen, what? listen, what listen. Done. Witnesses have turned around and said that somebody matching your description has got out of that car, and it belongs to you, and you're drunk. So what we're going to do? Listen. We've That's got right. something to follow. It's called the process of investigation. Okay, so you're going to get investigated for it. If it isn't you, then there's no need to worry. But now you've gone no and done that, and you're making things worse. With car wreckers showing no remorse, Gav speaks to a witness. Did you see him get out? When we were studying, he couldn't get out of the car. He struggled to get out of the vehicle when he come back. So then it flagged up to me and him, well, he's obviously blind drunk. The suspect's violent behaviour means he'll be taken to custody in the cage. A cell made from reinforced steel. Don't you start tensing up. Don't you start tensing up. Lift your leg up. Lift your leg up. Watch your head. Blurring's butt crack is crazy. Appropriate, but wow. Turn. You got that much out where they gotta blur it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Buy clothes that fit. In. Let's go, friend. Sit down. I'm not your friend.
Yeah, it's been nuts. Initially, we thought we weren't even going to find him because he's run off into the darkness. And then, lo and behold, he's trying to climb over some fence really rubbishly. And he's just made it worse and worse and worse for himself. And now he's got an answer for a criminal damage as well as a drink driving and damaging two cars. It's just going to um, pay a fine. I think he's going to wake up with a really bad headache in the morning. He might get some time. He's definitely banned from driving for four years. There was no time for a headache in the morning as the next day the suspect went straight to court where he was convicted of criminal damage and failure to provide after not completing the evidential breath test in custody. He was disqualified from driving for 18 months, ordered to do 80 hours of unpaid work and had to pay a total of £370 in compensation, no costs no. and victim surcharge. Drink. That's not a bad result for him, all things considered. Heat don't mix. And bank holidays especially don't mix. Well, keeps me in a job. Bronx two, strike, strike, strike. Interceptors get up to 18 months intensive driving training. Okay. Stand by for a decamp. Before they can tackle criminals on the roads. Speed is currently 9090 miles an hour. Do we have any of the units nearby, please, Miss Stinger? Pursuits take them to every corner of their 2,000 square kilometre patch. Can we request off for team pack, please? Deployed, it's going to go down towards the dead end, and it's going to be a decamp. And coming head on with lawbreakers goes with the territory. Contact, contact. Oh, and... But even the most experienced interceptors what the hell are they doing? can face extreme risk when they least expect it. Cars on fire. I don't remember that. Fire contacted and ambulance are also contacted. Well, I've now. Interceptors Bob Hoyle and Matthew Graham are blue lighting to help stop a cloned car. Those units have gone to area and the sergeant's got behind this vehicle. Um, it's a cloned vehicle that's come up M1 today from Sheffield. Um, sergeant's out behind it following it. Multiple cars are racing to intercept the cloned motor in case the driver fails to stop. But we are a good probably 10, 10 15 minutes away from where the car is. Um, so we've got a bit of playing up. 10, 15 minutes, man. You might as well wrap it up. Catch up time to me. Somebody else is going to get it before you get it. Another unit making ground towards the cloned car is also travelling on blue lights and sirens. It's 2am and the roads are deserted. As the Mini pulls out of the junction, there's nowhere for the police car to go. Well, that, that's not the suspect, is it? The Mini spins into the road before coming to a stop. When in danger, officers can press an emergency button on their radio, known as Code Zero. But let's be let's be serious. As the Mini Cooper, how do you not hear sirens and proceed with caution? Like they 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 they're blue light. You hear it. It gotta be close. You can hear how close it is to you. Like what is that? every now, as the person in the Mini, I'm still gonna sue. We'll figure it out <laughs> in litigations. You hear me? Up in the team is alerted. So we're just gonna divert and give Nick a bit of an hand. Make sure he's all right. Three other units have also responded crunch. to the crash. Oh man, it's over. It's a shocking scene. Ooh. Everything totaled. Bob's totaled. first port of call is to check on both drivers. Yeah, I would. Yeah. All the airboys have gone off there, haven't they? Yeah. That was in that one then? This young lady just every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. The mini driver is a student. It was on her way back from the library. Right, hope you let know. 
She was just studying for tests. Uh, for you. Right. It's mm -hmm. fine because I'll go home to like some lot and it'll be. I'll wait for right. it. Right. Oh, my... But I'm going to tell them about it in the morning. Okay, that's fine. Just because Don't they worry. will panic because they're so far away. And... Right. Luckily, all they've done lucky, it is walking wounded. You know, we obviously respond to things quite quickly and... Who's at fault? Clearly the mini, but like... You think at this time of the night, there's not a lot of uh, traffic on the on the roads, but... Or maybe not the mini. I'm suing. She got out nice and calm, upright. My whole body would have been hurting. You know, when we're traveling at speed through through residential areas somewhere like this can go wrong yeah you you are traveling at speed through residential areas gotta proceed with caution you have a duty to protect the public and that was got a couple of cars wrote off rough could have been a lot worse could have had some uh, serious injuries uh, as a result of this but luckily we haven't the crash may be just an accident but all collisions involving police cars are investigated. Obviously, your natural line is to turn out like that, and where police cars ended up is in the middle of the road. So I would assume, as Nick's seen a coming, he's tried to maybe go around her a little bit to avoid the collision. Uh, and you can see some of the skid marks here from police vehicle. Having... Well, you don't got to assume nothing. It's on camera. So let's go ahead and watch it back in court. Yeah, stop. Suddenly. Thankfully, uh, modern cars they're designed to keep you safe uh, and take a, a lot of brunt of impact. Airbags fully inflate in just 25 milliseconds. And in collisions like this, they play a vital role in preventing serious injury. Don't matter what speed you're traveling at, if something suddenly comes into your path, you can't just stop on a dime, can you? The mini driver was reported for driving without due care went on an educational driving course. Thankfully, no one has been serious. Nah, see, at that point, I'm definitely suing. Something's up. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just gotta sue. I gotta test the waters of lawsuit. ...the injured, but incidents like this are a stark reminder of how dangerous the job of an interceptor can be. I mean, this just goes to show that, you know, police officers do put themselves at risk, you know, anything can happen. I guess they ain't make her pay, but insurance, right? West Yorkshire Police handle around 4,500 calls and reports every day. Cops responding on the ground are busy, so the last thing they need is people lying and wasting their time. 8th of June, 1966. Right. What are your real details? We've probably been lied to a thousand times. Um, you, you, you get a flavour for it, you get to know by people's reactions and where they hesitate. How old are you? Whoa, 61. <laughs> That's the worst attempt at trying to lie ever. These are all signs that, you know, as soon as that happens, you go, ah, hang on, here we go again. Another liar, you soon get a nose for uh, realising what's true and what isn't. It's the lively Saturday night shift. Oh, I'm going to be letting them away, I think. And interceptors Wayne Mason and Tom White are finishing up with one job when the next one flies past. And Altea, three up and bombing through Leeds, screaming, Nick me. You have to stop all day long. Yeah. Wayne lights them up. And surprisingly, the driver stops. Hello, mate. Hi, mate. You alright? You won't seem to pull me up every time I go, mate. I've never met you. Hey, up. There are two young lads in the car, and Tom spies something shifty. How are we he doing, just stops lad? His kicks. Suspecting the front seat passenger of stowing something in his trousers, whoa, whoa, whoa. they cuff him. You're detained at the moment for the search, alright? Jigs up, buddy. That's why, but anytime, anytime you get pulled over and somebody hops out the car, that automatically is giving the police a suspicious feeling. Everybody in the car is getting searched.
because it's meant to be a diversion. We all know this. They know this too. That's dumb. You just got to chill. Trousers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They cuff him. You're detained at the moment for the search, all right? He's not best pleased. You can't just put handcuffs on. I can't because I've just seen it. I suspect I've just seen you're trying to conceal something. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the dramas you lot are doing. You're bored. You've got Sorry. no else better to Jump do. out, mate. Weekend nights are some of the busiest times of the week for the interceptors. This but officer do not have a clue what he's doing, does he? If Hopefully he don't find that and, 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 and your comments can age gracefully. In Everyone a cooperates. This stop should be dealt with in no time. No, no one want me? In a minute. All right. Let's deal with the thing that uh, set Mike and my daughter just skinned him a lift home. Are you? All right. He ain't got out on it. All right, search. Do what you want. Search what you want. I've got nothing on me, officer. Okay. It seems the mouthy front seat passenger... I'm a sitting there, Paul. ...doesn't want to comply. What's your name, mate? I thought he did. I'm not obliged to give you... No, correct. You're not, you're not at the moment. No. I'm... Okay, that's fine. Perhaps the driver can fill the cops in on his daughter's boyfriend's details. What's his name? <laughs> you're not going to believe this. I don't even know his proper name yet. He you goes out with your daughter. Name? What's his first name? I, I don't know his first name. This might be a transaction. Been out, yeah. well, I'm not giving obliged you to no. give you my details. So, I'm not getting involved with it. I'll keep mad you. The amnesiac driver's details check out, but interceptors can't shake the feeling that w they're being fed mans. porkies. And the discovery of a cannabis grinder beside the backseat passenger adds to their suspicions. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. The tight-lipped mystery man in the police car suddenly finds his voice. A plastic grinder? Yeah. <laughs> you get arrested for grinders these days. Tobacco grinders are perfectly legal in the UK. Correct. Like this sausage over here. <laughs> you, Sauc don't have, you don't have a life. <laughs> sausage? You don't have a life. <laughs> Not a sausage. A sausage is crazy. That's it. What's you up? Want and I don't smoke pot, mate. These guys are tying up two cops during a busy shift. You're a joke, mate. Go get a life. But Tom's determined to get to the bottom of this three-ring circus, starting with the name of its chief clown. Mate, mate, your story don't add up. He's been going out with your daughter for a while, but you don't know his name, and you're driving him about. You're not obliged! Don't give him my name! Well, you obviously know his name, because he's saying don't give him your name. I know, but I have given him a name. Yeah, no, his I name. Do, I don't know his name. So yeah. why are you lying saying you don't know his name? But, but I mean, and yet, yeah, I, he's not down to me. Talk to him, I don't know. I'd be very careful about how you proceed. Wise words. Oh, God, I don't know, dude name and the penny seems to have dropped tell them your name and we can get off home no you dad can't tell these them. what my name i'm not obliged Why? to give details all right do you want my name I, I, I like your name you all right go on my name's finally mr mystery gives up his details and reveals he's a tender 17 years old thanks mate and then we can get off i want to go to well, he's, he's still coming for the search <laughs> i'm still coming for the search he's got no else better to do this one <laughs> They might be stalling for time, but the mouthy passenger can't avoid the... Oh, he's going down to the station for the for the strip church. Inevitable search. I can't wait to see that look on your face when you okay. don't find anything. Okay. I can't wait. The driver gives Tom a piece of his mind. Right? I can't be playing these games, you know what I mean? You've been filmed, you look, you look like a prat acting like this. He's old enough to be you your like dad. You should have some respect. You should have some respect. What with the mouthy teenage passenger giving both barrels. But you lot in that, that uniform, you're nothing. And the driver spinning the usual yarn. This is how police officers to act when they get paid tax. This is what we're paying tax for. Wayne has had enough. You're not helping the situation, yeah, are you? Know, like a... I feel like the officers are like kind of chill right now. I ain't even gonna lie. They know them cameras rolling, they being cool, calm and collected. Ha! There's a grinder. On the yeah, back seat of yeah, this car. Mean, yes. Okay. So it's probably so much struck like a tiny little and everyone, dog end or something. Well, or a bit of, possibly. But, but we don't know until we search. Anyway. But we don't know until we search, right. folk. So right. shut up and let me talk. Right. I understand what you're saying, yeah. Okay. I hope you do, yeah. because at the moment you're making things a bit more difficult right. than it needs to be. Okay then. If you jump out for me first. Peace restored, Wayne can get on with the search. That is a grinder. It cost? Another grinder. Yeah. All right. that, that, that one is mine, isn't it? That one is yours. Yeah. So the tally is three grinders and a pack of lies. What else can Wayne weed out from the car? What's so up with the, the audio of this episode? It's like... It's real ominous. This. 
Tobacco. Yeah, and cannabis. I'll take whatever that if you want. Yeah. Well, I don't want, I want to know who it is. It's man, it's man. Yeah? That's yours? It's man. Well, you thought you didn't smoke well, it? Well, it's man. I just want to go on the bed. It's man. Well, I never had a cigarette. It doesn't work like that. I only have a little bit now and again, once in a blow moon. It's his. It's not enough. You're just going to write him a ticket for that. Oh, so you don't use it? Not once in a blow moon. All these stories keep changing, don't they? He's gone from... Is this outside right now? What is going on? Is there a UFO up there? Saying that they've got nothing to uh, admitting that the drugs I've just found are his, so... Can't believe a word that any of them are saying. The cannabis will be seized, and the mouthy passenger who denies hiding drugs in his trousers will be searched at custody. The suspect has turned a stop which should have been done and dusted in 10 minutes into two hours of torture, tying up two interceptors with bigger fish to fry. But Tom was bang on. A search at the Nick turned up a small amount of cannabis in the suspect's trousers. It's like the oh, this foot. counter is being obstructive. You know, he's, he turns an adult next week and if he wants to go down the route of, uh, of using drugs, then that's fine, but if the police come across it then it'll be dealt with properly for the joint hidden in his trousers the 17 year old was given a community resolution order if he's found with drugs on him again he'll have to go to court the driver was given a cannabis i don't smoke so i don't i don't care <laughs> warning no legal action was taken against the backseat passenger it's crazy drug free is the way to be